Hello guys, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still working on electro technology entry, that is uh, working on revision. So in this case, we just want to focus on the two, that is a generator and a motor, so that we see the difference between these two. We are given a question whereby uh, the armature of a DC machine is a series uh, resistance of uh, 0.25, and is connected to a 300 volt uh, supply, calculate the EMF generated when it is running. Okay, uh, so in this case, we've got two things that we need to consider here. There is an armature that we are focusing on the DC machine, which we are given its resistance. That is, uh, in this case, the, all right, uh, our armature resistance of uh, 0 0.25 ohms, is connected to the 300 volts at the that is our supply in this case which is uh uh the terminal voltage of uh 300 and uh, 300 volt supply calculate the emf so we are on this part the emf generated when it is running as that is the first part now so the first part that we are given it is a condition when it is a generator so we have got the first part when running as a generator so when it is running as a generator it is giving 100 amps which is the current that we have in this case uh for the uh for the armature that is giving in that current which is our armature current at that moment of uh 100 amps the same thing we have got uh in this case working or operating now as a motor the b part uh operating as a motor but now taking 80 amps, which is our amateur current as 80 amps. So when we are talking about the EMF, these two, they have the different, the only difference that we have is that is the same EMF, like a generated EMF, but the, the, the naming part that we have is that on a generator, remember the generator is the one that is generating the electricity or producing the, uh, the current in this case. So the generated EMF is going to be equivalent to V plus the armature current times the armature resistance. Whereas for a motor, this generated EMF is the one that we refer to as the back EMF, which is V minus the back EMF it carries and negative this time so that is the difference that we only have between these two so meaning to say here we are simply going to substitute what we are given our generated emf is going to be taken from our terminal voltage which is uh, 300 plus the amateur current as we're working as a generator which is 100 times the amateur resistance in this case of uh, 0.25. All right, so this is going to give us uh, the generated uh, EMF, whereby our generated EMF, if we combine uh, the first part, we are going to obtain 300 plus 100 times 0 0.25, which is 25. So we are going to add, which is going to be 325 volts in this case. So as a generator, we are going to add, but when working as a motor this time, we are going to subtract. So our generated EMF is going to be V, our terminal voltage of uh, 300 minus the armature current it is taking in uh, 80 amps. So that is 80 times the armature resistance of 0 0.25. So that is what we're given in this case. So just like the previous part, we can separate this part or combine everything we are going to obtain at the end 280 volts in this case. All right. So this is how we might be given these questions. What we need is to understand uh, the information that you're given, understanding of the information. How are we separating the information that you're given for a generator and for a motor? These are the two major concepts that we are going to work with on the generated EMF between a generator and a motor. So that's it, guys, from Amazon African Motives. Till we meet again.